Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Brian. Um, I wanted to do something a little different today and I wanted to talk about a subject that's near and dear to my heart, which is men's mental health. Um, having a child with autism, having my own anxiety and depression issues. I think that we're attacking this million dollar bogan I think we're attacking this million dollar bogan issue with Harley Davidson in the wrong way. What we're forgetting is the work that Danny's done for men's mental health. Forget about the bike that he rides. He can ride a monkey, he can ride a Harley, he can ride a Vespa for all I care. But what we're losing in this fight is not a representative of Harley Davidson. You know, we can, we can beat that drum all we want about the trouble that Harley's in, the direction they're going. But the one thing that we can't ignore is the money that he's raised for men's mental health and that and suicide and the things that he's become a mouthpiece for those of us that don't have that exposure and that voice. And I think that's the true loss in losing Danny. We're so worried about, oh, Harley Davidson's gonna tank. It's gonna be this, it's gonna be that. I can tell you personally as a Harley rider, I don't give a damn about Harley in this, in this discussion. What I care about is losing someone that was so valuable in fighting for men's mental health and for bringing light to that subject. And that's where I think that this fight isn't getting the proper attention. We're so worried about the direction that Harley's going in. You know, I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna lose sleep over what Harley makes next year. I'm not, I've got my own issues. Australia's dealing with COVID, the whole world's dealing with COVID, which is taking a huge impact on men's mental health, women's mental health, children's mental health. That's the real issue in this struggle is you're losing a mouthpiece for someone that's done good. Suicide has gone up, anxiety, people with depression, all these things have gone up through this pandemic. Here's someone that's fighting that fight and we're losing it, but we're worried about this being a Harley Davidson issue. It's not, it's bigger than that. You could take Bogan away from motorcycles and I would still watch everything that he did because not only is he amusing, but, but he's an advocate. And that's the thing that I want you to think about. And Danny, if, if for some reason you do see this, I hope that that's what you're thinking about right now. Put, put everything aside about Harley Davidson and the way that they've treated Geelong and, and how you feel about freedom of speech. This is bigger than that. Don't let this lose focus for what you've done for the community, what you've done to help other YouTubers find a new style for what other YouTubers have found in using YouTube as a vehicle to help them communicate, where maybe in person they're not a great communicator, but they've used this medium to communicate. That's the important thing. Don't lose focus of that. And if anyone's watching this and you need help, think about getting help. Don't just say, well, you know, tomorrow's another day or I'm gonna drink my anxiety away. It's not gonna solve the problem. If you need help, seek help. But please take a moment to focus on the larger issue. Forget motorcycles in this. Think about what we have in Danny. That's where the real frustration should come. That's where people should be upset. We need people with a positive outlook, people that are fighting that struggle, that have overcome you know, issues with sobriety and everyone else. That's the value in this. As a motorcycle community, we need to rally behind this and keep someone that's been an advocate for us and someone that is a positive role model and, and a very creative individual. So I don't mean to get on a soapbox. I hope no one's gonna look at this and be like, oh, you're using this for clickbait. I'm not. I really do think that that's what we're losing focus of. We're losing focus of losing an advocate. You know, motorcycle brands are motorcycle brands. You know, it, there's always something out there. But don't let the distraction of what Harley Davidson did in your perception 
lose the true message in this of what Danny's done for others. That's my challenge. If you're watching this video and you can help someone that needs help, please do so. Whether that's being a phone call, whether that's sending them a text message every morning, whether it's just being there in someone's time of need. You need to be that role model. We all need to be that role model in this time. I hope you'll take this video in the spirit that I meant it. I'm really passionate about this subject and I think that it needs to be heard. I wish you the best. I hope all of you are doing really well in dealing with this world that we're in right now. And I wish you the best. Again, if you need help, reach out. Shoot me an IM on Instagram. I'm always around to talk, but don't ever for a moment think that there's not someone to listen to you. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.